now that the building and the painting are done we need to seal the board to prevent any damage from gameplay from dropping models from spilling drinks to rolling dice any of those things can mar the top of the table and we don't want that to happen or we want to try as best as possible to keep that from happening so what I'm going to do at this point over the entire board is use the scenic cement and I'm just going to use the sprayer now when you're using a sprayer it's good to look for one that has and I don't know if you can even see that it has grating on the inside what that grating will do when you're using scenic cement or any other type of watered down PVA that will keep clumps from getting up into your tube and clogging up the spray gun so if you're going to be spraying anything on the board make sure that you have something similar to that um, and if you don't if it just has the tube that goes down into the bottom of the bottle you can take a piece of pantyhose or nylon or whatever you have available uh, and use a rubber band stick that on the end and that will act as a filter but I'll just be using the regular scenic cement and again you can use watered down PVA glue that'll be just fine and then once this is done I'll be going back with some of this I'm a moron take two so I don't know how I managed to cut the camera off considering this is a live cam and I'm nowhere near the computer but there you go so as I was saying before I so rudely interrupted myself, I'll be using this Krylon Crystal Clear over the top of the board. Um, the problem with using anything that is uh, aerosol spray based is you can melt the foam and I believe we've covered this earlier. I don't really want to chance it. Um, we have enough layers of the scenic cement and glue to where it would probably be safe to go ahead and use this straight from the can. Um, I don't want to do that so what I'm going to be doing is taking a cup, not this cup of course, but just a small cup and I'll be spraying the contents into the cup and then I'll be using the airbrush I'll just pour this into the gravity feed and then I'll spray the board like that. Um, that will allow me to spray the entire board without having to worry about any of the propellants in the spray can melting any of the foam. So that will be the next step. And then our final step will be using this crystal clear glaze. And I'll just be using an old brush, dipping it in the glaze, and then painting it on. Let me readjust here. <coughs> and I'll just be painting it on the lava areas to give it a uh, wet look once it's dry. There are two things that I need to cover that I did not cover in the last segment. This Krylon Crystal Clear is not water based. Uh, it will not clean up with water. You'll need mineral spirits or something along those lines. Uh, Krylon actually recommends mineral spirits uh, to flush your airbrush or your automotive sprayer, however you're going to be applying it to the board if you're not spraying it directly from the can. So in our case when we spray the contents into a cup and then put it in the airbrush <clears throat> we'll need to flush the airbrush afterwards with mineral spirits to make sure that this does not get stuck inside the gun and cause it to not spray. That would be bad. So just make sure that you have some mineral spirits or if you're not using Krylon make sure and read the directions on the back and find out what they recommend to use as a cleanup material and go from there. Also, the fumes are toxic, so please, 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 if you're using any kind of spray can, uh, doesn't have to be crystal clear, any kind of sealing material. If you're just using spray paint, make sure that you have a respirator and that you're doing it outside. You do not want to breathe the fumes. Okay, we're ready to go ahead and apply our scenic cement now. As you can see, I have placed the board on a piece of 2 inch foam. Uh, the reason that I do that instead of just keeping it flush on the table is if there's any runoff on the side, I can go back with a towel and wipe all that off along the bottom 
instead of having to lift the board up uh, if it was on a flat surface. So just use something smaller than the diameter of the board. That way you can wipe off the excess and not have any problems. I've also used some garbage bags. These are 30 gallon leaf bags. Tear them in half and you'll have plenty of room to put these down and not have to worry about spraying your wall or the dog or whatever else is running around. So let's go ahead and start spraying. Doesn't matter if it pulls up, it will dry clear. Just want to make sure that every part is covered. Find a spray pattern that works for you and go from there. Like I said, it doesn't matter if it pulls up or if it's thicker in some places than others. As long as you're on a level surface, it'll be fine. Sure to hit the edges real good. And that's all there is to that. Now that's going to have to dry overnight. Um, usually four or five hours and uh, it's good enough to touch, but uh, you really want it to cure and uh, before you start touching it. So. I'm going to set this aside, I'm going to let it dry until tomorrow, and we'll pick up the video from there. After the scenic cement was given 24 hours to dry, I went ahead and applied the Krylon Crystal Clear. I don't really have a way to video that since I have to do it outside, and crap cam just really doesn't do the job in poor lighting, so I apologize for not being able to show that. Um, but if you do intend on doing that, just follow the instructions at the beginning of the video and you'll be fine. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. So now all we have is the last stage. This is the crystal clear glaze, also made by Krylon. Just make sure it's good and shook up. Have your brush ready. This stuff goes on thick and it's a little cloudy but it will dry clear and what we want to do is cover all the areas that have paint and that includes the outer edges that have that um, burnt look to it. We want to make that look like it's uh, still wet in the drying process. You don't have to be extremely neat with this. It will go on thick, and that's fine. And once this is, once we're done with this part, we'll need to let this dry for about an hour, maybe two hours, and then we can put another coat down. It doesn't have to be completely dry before you put the second coat down and it will need to set up for at least 24 hours before you handle it. It will still be tacky so you don't want any fingerprints or smudges or cat hair or dog hair or whatever you have in your house to get stuck in it. there. If you like the way it looks after the first coat, there's not really a need to put a second coat on. And I find most times that one coat is plenty. After all, we're just giving it a wet look. We're not really adding any depth to it.
think that's about got it. And again, don't worry if it looks milky in certain areas, it will dry completely clear. Okay, that is it.